Okay, we are going to be talking about always, sometimes, and never today, and we're going to put this in our interactive notebook and keep these notes so we can use them for a later, later time. So if you need time to get your notebook out and get it set up, all right, just pause and come back. All right, but we're going to go to our tables of content so we know what page we are. We have a couple titles in here already. Um, so what we're going to do this is we're going to title this as always, always sometimes and never true so either it's always true sometimes true or never true today is the 10th so 9 10 and page you're just gonna have to go look at what page you're on I believe we're on like page 5 or page 6 so whatever page you're, you're going to write this on alright just put that as the page number so now that's your table of contents so once you have that done we can go up to the page and what we're going to do is we're going to have three columns here. We have always true, sometimes true, and never true. There should be an S right there. Sometimes true. All right. So always true. So if we think of an equation, if I just write like 2 times x plus 1 equals 2x plus 2. So now if I go to solve this equation, so we have this equation written down, we go to solve it, well we all know we're going to distribute first. So we distribute and we get 2x plus 2 equals 2. Well the first thing you're going to notice is that this side is actually the same thing as this side. So they're both the same. But if we go to solve this, if we didn't see that, and we do like minus 2x, minus 2x here, the x is cross off. Well this actually 2 minus 2 is going to cross off and we're going to be left with 2 is equal to 2. Well that's true. So that's true. So this is always going to be true. What's always true for it doesn't whatever we put in for x whatever number we put in for x it will give us a true statement. So it will give us a true statement. What I mean by that is if we pick any number. So uh, 8. If we put 8 in. So if I have 2 times 8 plus 1 equals 2 times 8 plus 2. Well we know that this is going to give me 9. So this is 2 times 9, which is 18. This is going to give me 16 plus 2, which is 18. So I chose 8. Randomly chose 8. It gives me 18. So any number we put in for x, it's always going to give us a true statement. And that happens. It happens when we come up with a true statement right here. So if this is true, since 2 is equal to true, it's always going to be true. So this is true. So this is true. So that's why it's always true. Now sometimes true is, is everything we've worked before. So if you have like 2 times x plus 1 equals 10. Okay, so we, if we have this equation, we know how to solve this equation. We distribute. So we get 2x plus 2 equals 10. We subtract 2 from both sides. And 2x equals 8. Divide by 2 x is equal to 4. So since we only have only have one value that makes this true. So we only have one value. x can only equal 4. We'll get into later um, where we can get two values or three values or four values depending on, on what types of equations we have. This is a linear equation. We'll talk about quadratic equations where we can have more than one value to make this, to, to make it true. But we only have one value here. So since we only have one value, it's only sometimes true. Because if I plug in, let's say I plug in 8 this time. So 2 times 8 plus 1 equals 10. Well, we know that 2 times 8 plus 1 is, is going to be 18. And 18 does not equal 10. So that's not true. But if we plug in 4, which is 
2 times 4 plus 1 is going to give me 5. 2 times 5 is 10. So 10 equals 10. So it's only sometimes true. Something that's never going to be true. Well, if I have 2 times x plus 1, we'll use that again, equals if we have 2x plus 6. So we know that this is distributed, so we're going to get 2x plus 2 equals 2x plus 6. And now we know that we're going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x. Well, they both cross off. Well, we're left with 2 equals 6. Well, that's not true. That's not true. All right, so since this is not true, all right, since our e solution is not true, since our solution is not true, our statement will never be true. All right, we can never get a, a true statement. Since it's not true, we'll never get a true statement. So this is never going to be true. Since our solution is not true, our answer is n can never be true. So our answer can never be true. So if we even choose 8 again, so we used 8, it, it worked, it didn't work. So if we plug in 8, well, 2 times 8 plus 1 equals 2 times 8 plus 6. Well, we know that this side's 18 because we've done it through third time. Well, this is going to be 16 plus 6. Well, 18 does not equal 22. So, since this is not true, our answer will never be true. We can never find a correct solution. So, whenever we solve an equation, it's either always true, sometimes true, or never true. So, if you get a correct statement like the first one, it's always true. If you get an answer, it's sometimes true. And if you get an, uh, a statement that's not true, it's never true.